y'all, so this is my third time doing this voiceover. So if you saw the video, you know that I did that TikTok hack where you take the monomer and you add some polish to it and change the color of the monomer and then you just start applying acrylic like you regularly would. Um, it ended up working out perfectly fine. It's just if you needed more monomer, like if you used all your monomer while you were doing the set, you just got to make sure you put like the same amount of nail polish in because, yeah, like you know what I mean? Because you don't want the colors to be different. Especially if you have, like, a brighter color. I think nude was, like, perfect for, like, this hack to test it out. Because if I would have did something bright, like, I don't know. But I feel like all colors might not work with this. But anyways, it ended up working perfectly fine. only thing is, my concern is, like, any if you added something to your acrylic or if you added something to your monomer, it can affect the way you apply um your acrylic if you know what i mean and it can also affect how quickly it cures so that was my only concern but like i said i ain't never did this before this is my first time i just wanted to see how it would work but it turned out so cute so this is me picking up a bead with it i just wanted to see how the color would look what i wanted was more of a matte nude and i ended up getting more of an opaque nude which is fine it's perfectly um, but this is me applying the first bead now. Like I said in the last time I was trying to do this voiceover, I'm not perfect. I don't always do it right. But look here at the end when I ooh, that hurt. After I'm done, the set be looking great. It's called drill. A drill in filing. So that's why my sets be looking really good. But when I first all it's always the first note I'll be struggling with. But the second one I be having on, I, I be perfect. But um, when you see me right here, so look right. I do two. I do three different videos. I post videos on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So I'm sorry for the angle, but yeah, and yeah, we finna speed this up way, 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 way fast because I mean, if you really want to see a slow down version, I mean, y'all saw me just do that in one finger, so I feel like that's good enough, but. I don't like long videos. Like, why would I push y'all through a long YouTube video? I don't even like watching long YouTube videos. Like, I like them five, seven minute YouTube videos. Because, um, like, your video would have to be really, really interesting for me to sit and watch that whole thing. But, um, this process of me laying down the acrylic on both my hands probably took 30 minutes. I was going to double tip my nails. And then I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But I do think I'm going to have a set that looks exactly like this on my website for my press ones. Um, that's what I think I want to do. Because it turned out really pretty. Like like I said, I was really expecting to be more of a matte. But once I got everything right, and mind you, look at, look how pretty this this pointer finger looks. But once you put that top coat polish, it was like a whole nother ball game. Like, I really was going to put some gold flakes on it and make it all pretty. And then it ended up being, like, you know, a really pretty glossy, opaque. You see that? Like, it looked really pretty. It was better than I thought it was going to be. So, this was after I washed my hands. I didn't even put all of it on yet, I don't think. But it turned out really cute. And I really liked it. And I would do this heck again. So, um, see you